As photographers, we spend a lot of time in front of our computer screens, but it doesn't have to be that way. As the OM system, OM1, has very powerful image processing options right in the camera. And today, I'll show you a workflow where you take the photographs out in the field and spend very little time processing the files in camera and delivering them right to the social media feed. My name is Thomas Eisel, I'm a professional photographer from Vienna, Austria, and today is my day off. So what better opportunity than to go out and take photographs, of course. I've set myself a little challenge today. I brought just my OM system OM1 with the 12 to 40 f2.8 Pro. And with this combo, I'm gonna shoot some autumn pictures here in Vienna's recreational area, the Steinhof Gründe. The challenge is not only to take the pictures out here, but to process them in camera. I want to share this workflow with you, as it can be truly liberating to not sit in front of the computer. In general, I recommend making creative decisions before starting to take pictures. Figure out how your images should look before you press the shutter for the first time. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now. The OM-1 has a plethora of different picture modes and art filters. And it can be quite difficult to decide with which one to start. But today is a beautiful autumn day. So I'm trying to find a picture style that matches very well for autumn landscape shots. And in order to do so, I'm gonna shoot a bracketed series of photographs on my OM-1 with all the picture styles. Let me show you how to set up the art filter bracketing in the OM-1. Just press the menu button, go to 2, last sub-menu, and there you have art bracketing. Just press OK and under art bracketing settings you can select all the art filters that you want in your bracketing shot. I myself only select those art filters and picture modes that I already know I probably want to use. So I exclude all the stuff that I don't really like. After having selected all those filters, just go back and turn Art Bracketing on. Now that Art Filter Bracketing is set up, I just have to make a few basic settings in the OM-1, which is of course setting the base ISO, setting an appropriate aperture, and that's f4 in this case, as the 12 to 40 f2.8 performs best at this aperture, and that's what I'm gonna use today. And also, not to forget, I'll set the white balance manually. I'm keeping my eye on the viewfinder as the camera is showing me all the previews right away. Surprisingly instant film looks really nice, but to be honest I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna go with the vivid picture mode of the OM-1. And the good thing is that although the basic look is now set with Vivid, I'm gonna shoot all the following photographs in RAW anyways, because then I can utilize the full in-camera RAW processing potential. So while I'm looking for different subjects and, well, points of view for my landscape shots, I thought it's gonna be nice to share some thoughts on working outside your comfort zone. So in my comfort zone is actually people photography. So it's all about models, portraiture, fashion and all this stuff, but rarely landscapes and nature. And I really 
feel that it's not that easy to find the right perspective and get the shot if you are not really used to this subject. You have to spend a lot more time to figure out what's working and what's not. But I really enjoy that and yeah, I think I found something interesting. So let's take the shot. I've spent about two hours in the nature with my OM-1 kit and had a great time. It is really liberating carrying a lightweight yet capable setup and also knowing that there won't be a lot of post-processing. In any case, I have to select some images and there is no better place to browse through the images and make some adjustments to them than in one of Vienna's famous coffee houses. That's exactly where I'm going right now. See you. Before editing any images, we have to make a selection. And thankfully, the OM1 has a great feature set for browsing files in camera, rating them and really comparing them and making a selection. That is very, very nice. Let's take a look. Turn the camera on, hit the playback button, and now we see a preview of the last image that we actually captured or viewed. So by turning the rear dial to the left, the whole preview zooms out and it gives us this grid view. This grid view is very, very handy and is my favorite starting point for reviewing images. Just by touching the screen and moving it around, I can go through all the images I've captured today. By touching one of the images, an enlarged preview comes up. And now I can just double tap and check whether the image is in focus or not. Very convenient. Double tap again, brings me back to this overview. And by clicking this icon in the bottom right corner here, we are back to the overview. What I usually do from there on is I go to individual images and give them a star rating. Let's say this one is, for example, a three star image. I just have to hold down the ISO button in the top right corner of the camera and turn the front dial and I can assign a star rating. This star rating also carries over to your RAW editor, but we are not using a RAW editor today. Now I can just go through all these images and give them a rating. As these files are unedited, I will judge them solely based on composition and overall feeling. Going back to the grid view, all images that already got a star rating have this little star icon over there. So that's a convenient way to check which images were already reviewed I'd like to give you a quick overview what you can do in camera with the OM1. Let's bring up the menu. Let's scroll through and let's say this is the image that we want to process. It's actually pretty similar to what you would do in a RAW processor. First click the OK button and bring up the RAW edit menu. Now we have five options right here. Current means that the image is processed exactly how the camera is set up right now. So when you have picture mode set to monochrome and contrast plus two or something like that, that's exactly what's gonna be applied to this raw image. And the camera is gonna create a JPEG with the exact same specifications. We don't want to use this function. The next function is custom one 
and then there is custom two. And those two settings, they act like a preset. Those are the functions that we will use right now. They give us the maximum amount of control. And also the settings we make here are saved. So I can just go to the next RAW file and apply the same settings. That's super convenient. The next function is art bracketing, which works exactly like the bracketing function I've showed you earlier, but here you can do it in post-production. And then there is no, which means don't do anything. We don't need that, obviously. So let's take a look at custom one and two. I've actually created different presets already, but I'm gonna show you just the options and what you can do in here. First, you can pick the output size, then you can select the picture mode. Next option sets the white balance. Here you can make exposure compensation adjustments. There you can brighten the highlights or bring them down a little bit. The same thing for the shadow areas and also for the midtones. The next option lets you select the aspect ratio of the JPEG output. Very useful. Then there is the noise filter, can be set to off or up until high. And here is the color space of the processed image file. Right, so when I go, for example, to the exposure compensation, you see that nothing actually changes when I move the slider around. And that's because I have to hit the record button on the top of the camera to refresh the image. Otherwise, you're just going to see the image as it was recorded. Let's hit that. And there we go. This is the image processed. Of course, it is too dark, so I'm going to go back to exposure compensation zero. Hit this one again. Now, after finishing these adjustments, I can click OK. And then it asks me yes or no. And when I click yes, the JPEG is actually processed. I can now select Reset to do the same processing or apply different changes to the same image. Or by pressing Exit, it just goes to the processed JPEG. Let's go back and let's take a look at the JPEG because there are also options what we can do to the JPEG. Again, by clicking OK, we can enter the JPEG edit mode. Let's hit OK one more time. There we can do a shadow adjustment, apply the red eye fix. We can crop the image, change the aspect ratio, turn it to black and white, use a sepia filter, change the saturation, and we can also resize and compress the image. Back in the cafe, I processed all my favorite five star images and exported them as JPEGs. And I'm going to show you these images right now with some edit notes. This was all done in camera and it took me around 10 minutes. The OM1's 
in-camera raw conversion is top-notch. These images are superb, at least from a technical standpoint. The subjective impression is of course subjective, so it's up to you whether you like them or not. But just judging from a technical standpoint, these files have just the right amount of sharpness. There is a lot of detail in these JPEG files. They are really, really good. And that's what I've said in previous videos. The OM system, OM1, delivers outstanding perceivable image quality. You really have this wow factor when you look at the images on your back screen. And now let's talk about the whole shooting process today. I really enjoyed this experience. It is actually the first time that I went out, captured the images and actually processed everything out in the field, in the camera, and I didn't have to spend a minute in front of the computer screen to do any adjustments. And that's just amazing. And I hope that inspired you to do something similar, to try it out with your camera or with your OM-1. Because this was by no means an instructional video examining every intricacy of this in-camera raw processing. There are a ton of options that you can combine creatively and yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying that out more myself in the future. And I can really encourage you to do that as well. I imagine myself going on a trip with just the OM and a couple of lenses and processing the images whenever I have time for that. And that's kind of what I did today. Because when I was having my burger at the cafe, I was just swiping through the images, giving a, the ratings here and there and trying out some different processing presets. And that was really fun. Because when you are at home and you are working at your computer, then it's really more like work. But this was a fun process. And photography is also about having fun, not only about the final result. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel and following me on other social media. See you next time.